Hello everybody, this is Ultra Grunt. We are back for some Sonic 3D! So let's just carry on. I really don't like this level, I am not looking forward to it. I don't like the music on it, I don't like the level design, I don't like anything about it! Now one thing um, I should explain, um, in um, America, and I think possibly Japan, I actually know Japan would probably call it something different, but um, this game was called Sonic 3D Blast in America, but in uh, Europe, um, it was called Flicky Island, so... I've always just called it Sonic 3D, though, know, in general. Most people know what you're talking about when you mention Sonic 3D. Oh god, this area. Ugh. Yeah, if you step on those, um, those areas, you will um, bring up spikes. Which is not fun. Look at this funky spider in here. Yeah, ugh. Spiders. Come here, you. I've always hated bloody spiders. <laughs> Good old killing floor. Look at this thing. What is that supposed to be? Robotnik, you've really let yourself go with these robot designs. Then again, at least they don't look like those stupid orange ones from, like, more recent games. Stupid, like, Eggman robots that just are orange and just sort of resemble. You know him. Look at this one. Yeah, there's like, um... There's like several set patterns for enemy designs. There's like, I think there's four or five enemies in this game that have all got the same... Not the same pattern. Like, they, they have to follow a certain pattern with their design. It's kind of bizarre. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but like... It's like there's one shell that the enemies are made into. And they all design the enemies based on that that one design. And just change the you know, like the uh, the skin of the enemy, I should say. Where is that last one? It's probably all the way back down here. Yeah, screw jumping on his blooms. Yeah, I hate these cannons on this level. They're so of annoying. This is what I hate about this level as well. It makes you go miles away just to find one enemy. So, extra life. I don't know why that's down here. And I hate these, like, spring platforms as well, that are just, like, sort of dotted about all over the place. So it's not down here. It must be over this way. Aha! It's one of them stupid little crab enemies. Unfortunately not giant, so we can't hit them for massive damage. Oh well. Bounce. Oh, well, at least we've got a shield now. Right. Let's go past area one. Go into the big, like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel violated. I don't know. I don't want to be hit. Tails, you will save me. Look, he's wrapping his tails around Sonic. Purple, spike balls, and ring, ring, rings. Lots of rings, lots of rings. These levels are easy, I did do with my head in. Yeah, these uh, special stages are kind of bad. It, it, Sonic doesn't look like his, mo his walk it, running animation doesn't look like he's running fast enough for the landscape. It just looks terrible. But, uh, I don't know. I'm no game designer, so I don't know. I just feel like this game has just got so many things wrong with it. I've got a feeling there's only six Chaos Emeralds on this game as well for some reason. I could be wrong, but I don't know why, but that's just coming to my mind that there's only six. Rings. Yeah, there's some parts where you have to use a blue to get higher. It's sort of like, um, 
the blue ones are the carnival zone. Not the, the carnival by so whatever it's called. I can't. I should remember the name of it. I played this game, so this kills brain cells as you go, so you don't really want to play it for too long. Unfortunately, I'm playing through the entire game right now, so uh, I set myself to do that, and uh, I'm probably gonna melt up by the time I've done this. Oh no! He's gonna get me! It's glitching out. Oh no, you can't get me. You can jump on them or you can roll into the faces, so it's crap enemies. Uh, Ooh, look, Knuckles is over there. Maybe he can help us turn into non supersonic. Oh. I don't want to step on the uh, spikes there, Sonic. You might hurt yourself. Is this just a path for some Knuckles? I think it is. Oh look, pinball! You think you'd be able to play pinball, but no. Meanwhile, like Sonic Spinball. That's another game I made you do one day, Sonic Spinball. It's kind of unique and fun, but... Uh, I don't think I've... That is possibly the only Sonic game I've never beaten. Like, I, I've gotten onto the final level on it. There's only like four levels on the game. Um, it's definitely, I don't know, it's, I find it, like, hard to play from. I feel like um, it's not pinball enough for me. I'm kind of, like, just sticking around one area and just getting points playing it like pinball. Yeah. I do enjoy pinball. Pinball is very, one of those games I do enjoy a lot. Um, I'm actually going to backtrack to Knuckles, I think. Keep jumping, Sonic! Don't run the spikes! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, let's go this way. Knuckles, take all my money! All the birds are flying through your crotch, but it's okay. Silver spike balls. I think these... I think, like, the, um, the spike ball colours actually relate to what emeralds you get. Don't you think it's bizarre that emeralds are just always green? But then in the Sonic Universe, emeralds are like every colour of the rainbow. Including grey. Ah. Yeah, there's no um, invincibility either on this game. When you get hit on these special stages, you sort of uh, have to jump over them. I will admit this is a bit trickier than those past ones. Uh, mainly because I've just found out the hit detection thing. There's no split seconds of invincibility. There we go. I almost messed that one up. Which means I'll probably mess up the last one. Look at that 3D animation, people. Totally not 2D made to look 3D. Oh. Give me all those rings. You... No, I'm not going to say that word either. <laughs> I almost said a very bad word. That is usually censored down to basketball player by my dad. This music makes me want to sing. I don't like singing. Ah. I say I don't like singing, and I've done like the endless set list on um, rock on all the rock band games. Um, with vocals. I've liked the vocals on all rock band games. This music has just gotten worse! Yeah, I, I really don't like music this level. This is like, possibly some of the worst music in the Sonic series for me. Oh! I've almost stepped on the spikes. So anyway guys, um, after this game, we're not, f well, we're like about, I think next level will be halfway through the game. But um, I was just wondering, is there any other, like, what Sonic game would you like to see me do next? Um, I have no problems with, like, getting uh, other Sonic games I don't have, you know, like, if, uh, like, if you want me to do Sonic CD, um, 
I'd go and get it off of, like, the PC. I'd get it on PC or, like, download it on the Xbox or something. That's if you wanted me to do that one. But it'd be blind, so... Yeah, the only thing I know about that game is, like, Sonic Boom and the intro for that scene. Sonic Boom. But yeah, if there's another Sonic game you want me to do, let me know, because I've... I own every, just about every single one, except for Sonic Jam and Sonic CD. They're the only two I don't own. And Sonic Jam will be hard for me to get a hold of. So, uh, yeah, because I don't know anyone with a Saturn that would... Well, no, I don't. I, no one I knew ever bought a Saturn, so uh, I wouldn't be able to play the game anyway, even if I forgot the game. Uh, we are missing a birdie. Oh, birdie go boom. Backtracking. Aha, there you are. It's one of you guys. Uh, I'm trying to save you, you stupid bird. There we go. Yay. So yeah, I think it's something like if you get 10 of those, you get a credit, because we got one earlier, which is why we got like the uh, credit sound from the old Sonic games. This music seems to get worse the more I play. But it's okay. We'll get the awesome boss music soon. We won't get my favourite one, but we'll get some of the awesome boss music. But the music in the next level is awesome. Like, it's amazing, like, how many people, um, how many Sonic fans were like, Yes, they put this music in the Sonic Generations! Oh, oh look, Sonic and Tails are both together. Let's do Knuckles. Knuckles, there is a big red bird flying through your crutch. Also, you can die on these, uh, special stages. If you touch one of these spike walls without any rings, you actually die. So, uh, yeah, you kind of want to make sure you don't die on these. Otherwise, you waste your rings, pretty much. Then again, you waste your rings by doing anything on this game. Can you believe my mother bought me this game? And it was like 40, 50 pounds back in the day on a Mega Drive? I'm as shocked as you were. That people actually paid money for this game. Yeah, that one was kind of tricky. It's kind of hard to get a decent path going with rings because you have to jump so much. Because I got all the grass emeralds and you get nothing for doing that. Well, we never have to talk to Knuckles or Tails again on this game if you don't want to. So. Like I said, it all it would just act like a bank for your rings from now on. You just sort of like give them your rings and you just get extra points at the end of the levels. So if you it, that's if you lose your rings. If you don't lose your rings at all, it's pointless. So. Those spiders are so funky and creepy. What you? Stupid bird thingy, dragonfly. Come here, you stupid green bird. Now, nope, stupid red bird, get on me. There we go. Uh, just getting worse. I don't understand why they put the invisibility in there. Sort of waste a bit of time with it. Your terrible attempts at pinball in a 3D Sonic game were all not worth it. Well, semi 3D. It's like 2.5D or whatever you want to call it. Although the pinball in a um, pinball stage in a uh, what's it called Sonic Adventure, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I could actually probably just jump up. Uh, Go up the hose pipe. This music is grating on me. It's 
like I'm listening to my brain explode. I hate that part. Usually I mess it up tons. Yay, shield! Pull up! Come here, Krabby! Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs, you... Um, let's go... Ow! That wasn't very nice. The birds can't get hit by those spikes because they can float over them. But I'd melt if I touch them. Come here, red birdie. I hate trying to catch these red birds. They're just so annoying. There we go. Hop in the skip and the jump and the spike wall and... There we go, end the level. Quick, run! Get me out of this horrible stage! This stage is horrible, it's just the music! Yeah! Spring Stadium, this boss music is awesome. This stupid boss is terrible. It's so easy to beat because you can just... You can sort of break it by going up there if you really want. He eventually comes down, starts having a seizure with his arms, and then you just go ahead and whack him like so. And, uh, yeah, I'm not very good at these boss stages. They're just sort of awkward to play, so it's not surprising really that I get hit so often. Especially with the hit, I mean, like with that last one, the hit detection on the sides of uh, the friggin' and sides of the uh, like the big hands on there. Terrible. Like, you gotta jump on them to hit him. But then, like, if you touch the sides when you're jumping up, it hurts, which makes no sense. Oh no, I've got no rings, I may die. Oh, he's going so quick! Look at him! He's like moving unusually quick, he's almost moving as badly and fast as Sonic does in this game. Let's run loops around the middle. It was like, oh, 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 oh. just banking the ground. I almost landed on his hand and died. Ah! Ow. Really, I got hurt by the spikes. I was not expecting that. Right, I'm going to leave a few more rings on the ground this time instead of collecting them all. That is a pro tip in Sonic games, by the way. If there's rings on the boss, you want to make sure you don't pick them all up. Pick up as little as possible, so that you can always have some. Just remember, Sonic only has it one hit and he dies, unless he has lots of rings. Hit you in the face, Robotnik! Spin around. Yeah, making silly sounds now. Batter Robotnik's face in. Smush your face in! You want me? Oh! That almost ended up in a death there. This is like the one boss I struggle with most. Most of the ones aren't this bad. I just struggle with this one because of the speed it moves at and the dodgy hit detection when you're trying to jump and hit him in the back or in the front. That felt like about three minutes. But anyway, guys. Oh wow, I've glitched the uh, thing out. I pressed pause and the music's still going. But this is like the best music on this game. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time where we'll do Diamond Dust Zone.